A Dummies Guide to Thailand's General Election 2011 Thailand goes to the polls on Sunday, July the 3rd. 500 members of parliament will be elected to the House of Representatives for a four-year term. It will be Thailand's 26th general election since 1933 and the first since 2007. Ballot papers allow the electorate to vote for 375 constituent MPs on a first-past-the-post basis and 125 party list MPs. The number of party list seats allocated to each party is calculated by dividing the total number of votes cast across the country by 125. The resulting figure is the number of votes it takes to win a seat, which is then used to calculate how many seats each party wins. 42 parties will field at least one candidate in the election. The Democrats, founded in 1946, are the oldest party. Led by Prime Minister Apisit Chachiwa, they have 2.8 million paid up members, which is more than the rest of the other party memberships combined. Thai Party, founded in 2007 and with Yingluck Shinawat as Prime Ministerial candidate, has 23,778 members. At the last general election, 74.45% of those eligible, about 32 million people, voted. It was the highest ever turnout. Members of the Sangha, prisoners, and those judged to be of unsound mind are not allowed to vote. Candidates for the House of Representatives must be citizens of Thailand by birth and be at least 25 years old on election day. A candidate must have been a voter and therefore on the electoral register for at least five years prior to the election. Chart Patanapur Pandin, hopeful Paradon Srishapan, failed to meet this qualification and was not allowed to stand. Party list candidates are exempt from provincial restrictions that apply to constituency candidates. A candidate must be a member of one political party for at least 90 days before election day. 57 female MPs, or around 12% of the House, were elected in 2007. Each candidate is allowed to spend up to 1.5 million baht on their election campaign. Campaigning for this election has been marred by violence. Police put 112 known hitmen on a wanted list ahead of the election. In the 2007 general election, Thai forerunner the People's Power Party won 233 seats, mainly in the north and northeast. The Democrats won 165 seats, largely in the south and central regions, including 30 out of 33 in Bangkok. Other parties won 82 of the 480 seats contested. This time around, a party needs more than 250 seats to win a majority and form a government. Small and medium-sized parties are expected to perform a vital role in helping Thai or the Democrats to form a coalition government. But what parties might work together? The Democrats and Thai will definitely not put their differences aside to form a coalition. But the Democrats could team up with Bumjai Thai, Cha Thai Patana, Cha Patana Pur Pandin, Bracha Rat, Social Action Party, Matapum and Palang Chon. Poor Thai could work with Chart Thai Patana, Chart Patana Poor Pandin, Pracharat and Social Action, but are unlikely to join forces with Pum Chai Thai or Matapum. So, barring a landslide victory for either of the two main parties, it looks certain that Prime Minister Apisit will retain his role or that Kun Ying Luk will become Thailand's first female Prime Minister, depending on their ability to work with other parties to form a coalition government. Mm -hmm.